guys, I'm back. See my hands? I know you can't see my face except for over there in my uh, mirror that I take pictures in when I do my outfit of the day. But I'm working on the ladder to chew the uh, candy um, um, thing now. And uh, I just wanted you to kind of see what I was doing. So uh, I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was $2.99. It's for my goddaughter. Her birthday was this past uh, Wednesday. And I wanted to do uh, a number one and two for her because she turned 12. But um, they didn't have the one at Hobby Lobby. So I had to settle for an O because her uh, name is Olivia. So we are going to try to uh, cut this bad boy open and see um, what we can do with it. And I do have just a uh, box cutter. soon so we're going to take her to the water park so I need to find me a swimsuit or at least uh probably my biker shorts and I run the bathroom when I get done my biker shorts and uh some type of shirt okay so I'm going to take my scraper and the one that I use whenever I'm making my tumblers and I'm going to scrape that and then I'm going to come back Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm going to take a parchment paper or wax paper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me grab some scissors. And I'm going to use it to lay down inside the ladder because I will be laying like candy in there and some of it will be wrapped some of it won't be. So I'm going to try my best to uh, keep it as clean and sanitized as possible. And you can use whatever you want. I thought about using some tissue paper, but I only had one piece and I am using that to uh, put inside of my secret piles gift so and I'm not going back to the store 
instructions for no tissue paper. And the candy is going to be covering it up, so it's not a big deal. Just lay it in there the best way that you can. You can see it's in there. It's just wax paper inside of the letter. So, and this was a scraper that I used to scrape the edges, and it's like a sandpaper block, and I use it for my tumbler. So, yeah, that's what I use. So, now I am going to start with the candy, and I just got a whole bunch of candy from a Dollar Tree. Um, see, I got some pixie sticks that um, are already wrapped, and then I got some Har Harbro, um Watermelon and then Harbro watermelon gummy bears, some twigs, I got some mini airheads, I got some warheads, I got some rainbow worms. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my secret pile for me because I got more than one of those. And then this is her too from my secret pile. This is hers and um, this is hers. So yeah, all of that for my secret pile. I think. Those other watermelons may be for mine. I'm not sure because I'm making one for myself also. But yeah, we'll start out in the curves with these um, watermelons. And because it's going to be wrapped in cellophane, we can kind of, you know, do like that and just kind of have it all over the place because it's going to be wrapped on both ends. I'm going to try one of these rainbow ones. Mm. Good. This is the way, I know you can't see and I hate to tilt it because I don't want to drop it, but this is the way that it turned out. So now I'm going to wrap it in some cellophane on both ends. And this is cellophane, it's called cello wrap, which you get from Dollar Tree, but I call it cellophane. I'm 
lot. Then you just set it across there. And what I'm going to do is I would do it this way. Put some tape on it. Or cut it rather. And then put some tape on it. I'm probably going to make mine until, because the dinner is not until um, Thursday night. So I'm probably not going to make mine until Wednesday because I. I want the candy to be hard. Okay guys, this is the finished product. I put some, well after I put the stella, the tape, the cellophane wrap on there, I um, taped the two ends together and put a piece of ribbon on each end and then I used my Cricut and put her name on it and then on the other side, I'm sorry I'm knocking over stuff, I put um, her age which is 12. So yeah that is the finished product so thank you guys for watching and i hope you learned something have a blessed day